A shocking turn of events, you can get the Android 16 beta for your S25 series phone now. So this is One UI 8, this is Samsung's version of Android 16. And this is really interesting because we just got Android 15, One UI 7 for the S24 and some earlier devices barely a month ago. So Android 15 came out last fall, we got it with the S25 series in January, but it was kind of a time delay getting it for the other phones. Now, this is for the S25, the S25 Plus, and the Ultra, surprisingly, not the Edge. Not the Edge. And I checked that out, and in the press announcement, it says only the S25 Plus and Ultra. And another interesting thing, they're saying that the full version of One UI 8 Android 16 will be launching this summer on the new generation of Foldable. So, Everybody was all doom and gloom talking about, oh my gosh, you're so late with this one, anticipating such a late launch and adoption rate whenever it comes to the new version of Android. Because if Android 15 was so far behind for so many phones, Android 16 surely couldn't be right around the corner. Well, I just opened up the beta program and just so I'm, I'm going to walk you through this. It's not the most intuitive process. I think maybe it's a little bit easier than opting in for Google because Google, you have to go to the website, you have to go and opt in, and then it'll push an over-the-air update. This one, you go into the Samsung Members app. So, and the Samsung Members app, I'll pull up my other phone. I got a lot of stuff going on right here. So there's what's called the Samsung Members app. And whenever you pull it up, that's really bright. When you pull it up, they have a dedicated tab now for the beta all the way down to the bottom and it says beta program. So I can see it here, right there, see beta program. I can see it on my S25 Edge, but whenever I pull it up, it's not an option. It doesn't let me sign up for it. It tells you some beta tips, what One UI is, you know, a couple different things, but ta-da, I have it for my S25 Ultra. So it says beta program, be the first one to try the latest version of One UI. I don't usually encourage beta programs because it is a beta. That means it is not fine-tuned all the way not 100%, not official release, not like, oh, hey, by the way, you know, there could be some problems. However, I'm testing so many S25 phones right now. I said, screw it, why not? So uh, when you get here, it'll tell you this. So you just opt in very easy and then click continue. It's thinking right now. I'm in uncharted territory. It says One UI 8 S25 beta. Thank you for your interest in the beta program. This beta test supports T-Mobile and unlocked devices only. So I think that's another limitation. Mine's unlocked and I use T-Mobile, so I'm okay. Verizon, AT&T, you might have some issues unless you bought it outright. So I'm gonna press the join button. It says, notific <laughs> it tells me Samsung members isn't supported in this region, I'm in the app. Anyway, so the app just crashed. <laughs> but it says downloading and installing the update. So there we go. So downloading, installing the update. So what's new here? Very interesting. Actually, this is just a regular update. So One UI 8, there's a couple new features there that, I mean, there's not really a whole lot that I know about it, honestly, at this point. I, I haven't been involved in the regular Android 16 beta with a Pixel, just for the very reason. I tell you all, I don't like to do beta stuff, but I'm going to get it set up. I'm going to get it installed. <laughs> That's what I'm working on right now. But I wanted to share this information with you all because if you've got an S25, S25 Plus or Ultra, then maybe you want to check it out. Maybe you want to see some of the new stuff. And I mean, I think that's perfectly fine. And I think that, you know, it could be interesting if you want to try that stuff out. But again, I usually caution, unless it, usually do it on like a non-daily driver if you've got a spare phone. And I know if I walked into like a Walmart, <laughs> probably a lot of people aren't carrying around two phones, but knowing my audience and knowing that many of y'all comment and say, oh, I'm carrying two, I've got three different phones or whatever, then this is something that you know it may be something that might be interesting to you so yeah so i was trying to find an email here real quick that had a had a breakdown of some of the other stuff so if you go to the samsung newsroom and they've got a link here it says samsung launches one ui 8 beta program first generation upgrade starting with new galaxy foldable so apparently it says they've got some enhanced cooperation going on in communication with google one UI 8 will debut on Samsung's newest foldables this summer and will gradually expand to more Galaxy devices so users can now enjoy an enriched, more personalized mobile experience. So it says they're bringing personalized AI for seamless, natural interactions. So there's supposed to be some updates there, updates to the Now Bar, and the Now Brief will deliver more customized insights 
and suggestions to help you stay on top of tasks and support your daily routine through curated AI information. Um, enhanced everyday convenience. There's going to be a new QR code scanning and sharing. allows you to use what's called AuraCast, uh, like the Galaxy Buds 3 hearing aid, something like that, to join a shared audio stream without the hassle of complex manual setup. So if you're listening to something, somebody else has a Samsung phone, they've got an Android phone, whatever, they can scan that QR code and dial into the same audio stream that you are. That's neat. A uh, reminder app will be your travel support with more convenient and intuitive features. Uh, quick share is getting some improvement. And these are just a couple of things that they mentioned. That's basically all the outline in their press, re press release. But the biggest thing is you can get in the beta. <laughs> Apparently, as long as you have T-Mobile or an unlocked phone, I don't know why my app crashed. So I'm gonna have to go in and mess with that. But hopefully it doesn't do that for you. <laughs> and again, this is S25, S25 Ultra, S25. And yes, I mean, we know the Fold 7 and the Flip 7 are right around the corner. We're expecting them early this summer. Last year, they came out towards the like end of July. So we're not too far from that. We're like two days from June. So this is pretty exciting stuff. Nice information, little tidbit. If you're a big Samsung fan, this is big news. And then the big question mark is, is how long will this be in beta? And how long after we get it on the Fold 7 and the Flip 7, will it be available for the S25, S24, S23, so on and so forth? Because we know the last two generations of phones seven years of operating system updates, seven years of security patches. So this is something where I'm, I'm happy to see this. It was kind of frustrating to see the long delay. I understood that there were some problems with the Android beta for Android 15 for One UI 7 and making sure that it works for so many different devices, right? There's so many phones that they put this on. So to make sure it works across so many chipsets, it's not like Apple. Apple's got the A18, A17, 16. They design and make their own software, their own architecture. So it's much easier for them to push out these updates in a more seamless manner than it is where if you've got, okay, we got to push it to the S25, S25 Plus, Ultra, the Edge, the Z Fold 6, the Z, Z Flip 6, uh, all these other different ones, different regions, different chipsets. Some have some phones have a Snapdragon 8 Generation uh, 2, an 8 Generation 3, an, an 8 Elite, an Exynos chip. So to make sure that it works uniformly across all that, like I get it. I would like a little bit more transparency for communicating that. Say, hey, you know, we'll get it out soon enough. But anyway, so if you've got an S24, S23, you should have got one UI 7 already. I don't know when you'll be able to get the beta for this, but it's at least it's nice to see that we got Android 15, one UI 7 on the S25 in January. Here we are with the beta already at the end of May. So exciting stuff. Stay tuned. I'll have more information on this later on. Usually I cover more pixel updates, but I've been covering a lot of Samsung stuff. It's kind of that time of year right now with the new Samsung phones, the S25 Edge, all that stuff. So stay tuned. If you like Samsung stuff, you're in the right place. If you like Google stuff, Android in general, I cover a lot of smartphones. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found value and help in this and it was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, comments, gripes, concerns, complaints, all that stuff, please, of course, go to the comments section. I'll do my best to get back with you. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.